Hey couponers, this is Trina. I have a haul video I'd like to share with you. Um, went to Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Kroger today. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, not feeling that hot and I really had not planned to go out but I didn't want to miss out on some coupons that were getting ready to expire and some of the deals that I had not been able to take advantage of this week. So um, my husband drove me around and went in the stores with me. Um, it just seemed like it wasn't a good couponing day. You know, they were out of everything, which, you know, that's to be expected the end of the deal week and the end of the month. So everyone is trying to take advantage of things. So, um, but anyway, he was patient and drove me all over Atlanta trying to get these deals. I tried to get um, some of the um, Nivea lotion at um, Kmart, but that was a wrap. They were cleaned out of the ones that were on the clearance price of a dollar. So that was the first sign that it was going to be a terrible day. But um, anyway, with the Liv Nivea lip deal, um, I got four of them. They were two for five. I had two coupons, which were $3 off of two. So that took $6 off of the 10. And with every $10 in Nivea products, you get $3 extra care bucks. So that did print out. Um, we also went to Walgreens. And at Walgreens, I was trying to get some more of the Tylenol Precise. I have some already, but I was trying to get more. Um, and they only had one left, so I, I took that one. It was $5 this week, and then there was a $5 off coupon in last Sunday's paper. Um, so anyway, I went to a couple of other Walgreens as well, but they didn't have any. So just uh, cut my losses. It's, it's all right. It'll be another deal. Um, while, I, while we were in Walgreens, I also looked at the body wash. Um, we were just kind of passing by that section and they had the right guard on sale for I think 256 or something and I had um, a coupon that was I don't know if it was two or three dollars off of two I think it was two dollars off of two so um, anyway that made them 156 each actually so um, for some reason I'm thinking it was three dollars off of two. Now that I think about it, it was a printable that I had. And I'll put the um, exact amount in the description below. But anyway, um, so I got those and used the coupon. And this was kind of a deal I had not expected. When I got through the transaction, it printed out a $2 um, register reward for buying, um, it says the dial product. So anyway, that was pretty good. So I guess that made them um, 56 cents each if it was the two dollars off of two coupon I have if it was a three dollars off then it, yeah, I guess it um, was only a few pennies that I paid then I tried to get um, some of the Kleenex hand towels uh, that were on sale at Kroger they were on sale this week for 189 I went we went to the first Kroger and they didn't have any they were cleaned out um, and because I wasn't feeling good, I initially was not going to go anywhere else, but it was just too good of a deal to pass up. And then there was an issue at Walmart, and I'll tell you about that in a few minutes, um, with the Kleenex hand towels and the Tylenol Precise. But anyway, these were $1.89 at Kroger, and then I had a $0.75 cents off coupon, so that made them $1.14 each. So I got um, three boxes at another store. That was all they had left, but you know, I took those, and hopefully I'll be able to find some more, maybe the sale will still be on next week. Um, I'm going to pan around. Um, the last item that uh, we got today, I got the Centrum Silver. My husband and I both turned 50 the end of last year. So um, it was time for us to get some more vitamins. We took the last ones this morning, so we decided to try this one. And I had a coupon, $3 off. This was $6.59 at Walmart. So with the $3 off, that made it $3.59. So pretty good deal. Um, I had some more of those printable coupons, but we're going to try this first and see how we feel. And um, after a couple days, you know, if we still feel good with them, then I'll go and get some more with the coupon. Now, um, the other issues at Walmart, um, I got this and then, you know, we got some food items. We tried to um, price match at Walmart with the... Tylenol Precise and the Kleenex towels, they had um, several 
of the Kleenex towel, hand towels at um, Walmart. It's one close to my house that I shop at all the time. So they were regularly $2.77 in there. And I forgot to mention they were regularly $2.99 at Kroger and they were on sale for $1.89 and then the $0.75 cents off coupon on each one. So anyway, they were $2.77 in Walmart. And when I got to the register, I asked the cashier about price matching and she said, oh yeah, we do. And um, so I, I put the items at the end that I wanted to price match with. I had um, six or seven boxes of the hand towels and then I had two boxes of the Tylenol Precise patches because they didn't have any more of the cream. So put all that at the end. She rang up all our other stuff and then she proceeded to ring this up and I had the coupons in my hand. And so she saw the coupons and you know she kind of freaked out. Oh, you're using coupons too? And I was like, yes. And she said, well, um, you know, Walmart's uh, policy for coupons is changing all the time and you can't use uh, price match and a coupon. It's one or the other. I said, well, when did this start? And she said, well, um, it just started. Now I'm in that Walmart two or three times a week. So and this just started this morning. So anyway, I said, you know, are you you know, sure about that? And I didn't want to argue with her. She really was being nice, but she was one of the scary cashiers. She was older and I guess she was fearful of getting in trouble or something. That that was, you know, more the stance that she was taking. So she said, I, I just want to check, ma'am. I just want to check. If it was up to me, I would do it. So she, you know, checked with another cashier and that cashier said, yeah, you can do that. So um, then uh, she made a mistake in nervousness and she rang up an extra Tylenol Precise that I did not have. Could not get it voided out because um, she, she did the price match. So she struggled and struggled. So then she um, saw another cashier or floor manager or somebody walking by and she asked her um, to help her void it. And she said, well, as long as it, you know, is the same item. And then this cashier told her, well, um, the other day I had a problem and Miss So-and-so told me that we couldn't do it. She said, oh, well, if she told you that, that's probably true. So then she went over to ask one of her cronies and, you know, then, of course, then, you know, little magpies in the corner and, and the consensus was, oh, no, you can't do that. It's one or the other. So I said, you know what? Walmart's losing money because I can go to the store that has the sale and use the coupon. You're losing money. I can't understand how Walmart would want to do that, but... You know, that's that's you all's loss. I'll go to Kroger. So um, I just, you know, pay, paid for the other items and, and left the store. Um, and I asked for the, the manager's name. The manager was not in today. How convenient. And, you know, because I was feeling rotten, you know, I didn't want to um, really get into it with the manager. But I'm going to follow up and, and find out. And um, the cashier did admit that, you know, they need to... Uh, let the, the cashiers know more because they're the ones that deal with the customers and they really need to have a consistent policy um, and way of handling things. So I, you know, I, I do appreciate her. She was really just doing her job. Uh, I, you know, <laughs> I kind of got upset with her when she had a big mouth at the end after we had already gotten it decided. And then this other man, floor manager came up and then, you know, blew the whole deal. So anyway, um, that was my day. I should have stayed in with this crap that I have, but I was trying to be a coupon diva and I got a few things, but um, everything didn't go right that I'd hoped for. So anyway, I hope you're having a much better day than I am. I'm going to try to stay in the rest of the weekend as much as possible and get ready for Monday. So anyway, happy couponing, happy Saturday, and have a great weekend. Bye.